We are live from the Chase Athletic Center at Smithfield, Rhode Island, and this is the NEC on ESPN3. Bryant's lost two in a row. Down low off glass, that is Marcel Penway. Intercepted by Ware. The alley-oop. And Zuzwa finishes. Minnie thought about the three, steps back, and takes the angle three. Still right to the basket, and the follow is slammed home by Elijah Milley. At the free throw line, Stewart whip pass. Look at the ball movement here. And going baseline is Elijah Minnie for seven. There's Oakley. They work it around. Garvin with a nice pass for Pickway. Along the baseline, oh, that's a nice look from McLaughlin to Pentway. There's the pick by Giles. Still right into the lane. Stewart. Isaiah Still sticks the three. He's got eight points, his second triple of the day. Three seconds, down low, off glass, doesn't go. Garvin on the tip, they'll count it. Coming up on two minutes gone by in the second half. Kayvon Stewart, boy, he got off to a great start, and he feeds Giles for the jam. Giles, short. Looked like he wanted a foul, but no call. Contact underneath, but Suzwa knocks it in. Prior the rebound. Stewart, all the way to the rack. Seven minutes gone by in the second half. That's Pryor from the right corner. And he has his first points of the day. 11-15 left in this one. Robert Morris leads Bryant 43-32. to The Colonials' defense has been terrific. Absolutely, at both ends of the floor. And, you know, they get a hand up, deflect it. They get, obviously, Minnie's been doing an outstanding job. There's another rejection right there. And I'm just so impressed he doesn't jump in the people. He deflected down low by Giles. And here comes the steal. Glocklin gets it off, and the lay-in by Whitley. Rickman, Ware, three. Stewart loops it in for Pryor, picked up by Ware. There's Stewart for three. They coughed it up. Ten seconds to shoot for McConnell. An NBA three. And so Robert Morris is going to improve to 6-15 and 15 overall, 4-4 four and four in the league. Bryant will go down to 7 and 14, 4 and 4 in the league as they lose their third consecutive game. Andy, you survived the snow, you survived the trip up here, two road wins. How's it feel? Great. You know, we packed our defense obviously for the weekend, holding, you know, Central and Bryant to below 60 points. And uh, we, we figured out enough offense when we needed it. Obviously, Elijah was a huge factor in all of that. But I'm uh, really happy and proud of the way we performed in these two games. You know, preparing for the game, I looked at your stat the last 10 games of holding opponents like 28% from beyond the arc. I think at the end of the game might be about 21% today. That's outstanding. Yeah, and, and a lot of it's just urgency. You know, obviously we have some length in, in, in some of those forward spots with Elijah, Isaiah Still, Rodney Pryor. You know, so it's uh, just being urgent and, and trying to take some of those guys out of their comfort zone where they can get rhythm jump shots, and we've done a nice job of that. Well, with these two wins, the, the conference is a jumbled mess at this point with a lot of people with four wins now and five. You're right there. Rodney coming back. How does that look for, I know you go on the road to the mountain next game. We just got to worry about getting better. You know, we're going to try and travel back. Hopefully we can make it back sometime right. tomorrow and then get in the gym on Monday and try and get better. That's the only thing we can focus on. We can't look at standings. We can't look at win-loss record. We got to just try and improve and then see where we, where we end up when it shakes out. All right, well, listen, hope you have a safe trip home. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate okay, it. thanks, Andy. Elijah, congratulations. An outstanding performance today Thank here. Um, that step back, how, how long have you been working on that step back jumper? Uh, I've been working on it since uh, probably my senior year in high school. Um, you know, I watch a lot of film on Kevin Durant, uh, Dirk Nowinski. So you know, I take a lot of my game. Uh, so I take a lot of my game, and uh, I try to perfect it into the to like Kevin Durant, uh, Dirk Nowinski type game. And you know, they like to do those little fadeaway step backs. I did a couple of them in high post, so that's where I, I get I work on most of my game off of those guys. But I want to know what's more important and what's more fun: the block shots that you've been doing, or or, or that fadeaway jumper. Uh, definitely the block shots, you know, those lead into the those lead to the fadeaway threes and fadeaway uh, jump shots. So I like the block shots better. How important to you and the rest of your teammates have Rodney back? Uh, it's it's greatly important. You know, he's a leader. He's been a leader when he wasn't playing. Um, you know, it, it's even better to have a leader like that on the court. Um, you know, even though he didn't play much, um, you know, he still had that presence. You know, that Rodney Pryor presence that. You know, you have a, a scorer, you have that, that person out there that you got to be aware of, and we, you know, we, we can't wait to have him back full, 
full effect next uh, next week against Mount. Okay, Elijah, congratulations, outstanding Thank performance, you. and again, have a safe trip back. Thank you. you okay, see. take care now. Right, okay, you. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Terry. Elijah Mini, our player of the game, 13 points and 12 rebounds to go along with six block shots. Uh, it is his second double-double of the season. Not to be outdone, though, Kayvon Stewart also was sensational. He had 18 points to lead Robert Morris. Also 10 points by Rodney Pryor. You heard Cherry mention he came back after a 12-game absence because of a concussion. All 10 points coming in the second half in a roll off the bench. For the Bryant Bulldogs, 21 points for Marcel Petway. The lead all scorers, Hunter Ware, had 15. Well, that will do it here from Smithfield, Rhode Island. Northeast Conference basketball, where Bryant has knocked off, or should I say has been knocked off by Robert Morris, 65 to 54. For Terry O'Connor, I'm Paul Latino saying so long.